Today, we're gonna to be talking about NFC tag automations in Josh's smart home. I'm gonna show you how I have some set up in Apple Shortcuts, as well as directly in Home Assistant, and then a combination of the two Apple Shortcuts triggering Home Assistant. So we're gonna talk about NFC tag automations for some Lutron cassette switches that I utilize while I'm working from home, so I can turn on or off the fan while I'm on a conference call without having to say anything or have anything really pulled out. I can just tap my phone against them and we're good to go. We have some automations with our security alarm, with a door lock, with our vehicle, and even with the trash you're gonna see in this video. So stay tuned so you don't miss it. I'm going to start with a couple of automations that I have set up using the NFC tags in Siri shortcuts. So I go into the Apple Shortcuts app and have the automations here. You can see I have a when office fan switch is detected, which is what I have called this NFC tag. Then it vibrates and com you know completes an action. So it vibrates, and then if the ceiling fan's on, then it sets the ceiling fan to off. And you can see it's off here, and otherwise, we're going to turn the ceiling fan on. So it's essentially toggling it, is how I have it set up here, using an if statement. And I'm going to I'll get back into that, and I'll notify when run so you can see what happens. And if I just tap it against the ceiling fan, you can see immediately it pops up and the ceiling fan is turned on. And I can do it again. And it detects it and turns off the ceiling fan. Same thing with the light, and I'll turn this on so you can see when it happens, but it's looking to see if lights on turns it off, otherwise turning it on and it vibrates the device, which is what I usually utilize here rather than notify run because you can feel it vibrate on your hand but you can see it pop up and turn the light off and then back on in this instance. Turn these off and I'll show you how to add um, one, you know, from scratch here. So I'll take a new NFC tag and go down and find the NFC tag and we can run after confirmation or run immediately. And we can notify when run, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to scan this and it scans. And we will call this one unlock Tesla charger. And then we can go to next to vibrate the device because I always like to know when it runs. That's the easiest way. And then we want to run the Tesla vehicle control, I believe it is. So to unlock the charger, it's actually called open the charge port, and ours is card called Lola. So we'll do this, and then I will be able to take this out and show you what that looks like in the vehicle. Over here, you can see that this is like a bluish color, and I have my um, NFC tag here that we programmed a little bit earlier to unlock the charger. So I'm just going to tap my phone and it vibrated and it immediately unlocks the charger. So that's all it takes to unlock the Tesla charger using an NFC tag. Now I'll show you what it looks like setting up a tag in Home Assistant. So we're gonna go into the settings and then we'll go into the tags. We're gonna add a tag and I'm just gonna call this arm and we'll create and tap it. And we can click on this little guy and we can add the action. I'm going to go into the other actions and do alarm O and we'll arm this instance. We will pick uh, home and hit save. And when tag arm is scanned, arm alarm. We'll save that. And we will get out of it and we'll add the disarm tag. And we'll tap that one. That's written. And we can do the same thing. We're going to go in and pick Alarmo. And that'll be Disarm for Alarmo. So when that tag is scanned, and this is the Disarm tag is scanned, then Disarm the Alarm. And we'll just say Disarm Alarm. I'll rename that 
and everything's good there. So let's go back to the uh, overview I have here on this dashboard. And you can see we're disarmed. So I'm going to tap it and click on the link. And you can see immediately it scanned. It actually showed in HomeKit, Apple Home first, that it was uh, armed there. And if we scan the other one, we have to click that one link. And you can see immediately it's disarmed. So that that one link is the big issue of doing it directly within Home Assistant is you have to actually click that additional button and there's a delayed notification from Home Assistant that it was disarmed. But you have to click that one extra button where when we do it within a we'll shortcut there, then we don't need to click that extra button. We can bypass that. So that's the real benefit of using the Apple Shortcuts app rather than doing it directly within Home Assistant. The one benefit of doing it within Home Assistant is that other users can scan it and automatically have the, uh, the Home Assistant, you know, understand what it is. If you're like me, you might actually have a smart lock, but it's not, you know, an Apple home key lock. So we have the Schledge that's a Z-Wave lock and it's integrated directly within Home Assistant. But I was looking for a way to be able to use our phones to unlock it and not have to put in the combo. So I've come up with a solution and that's the NFC tag. So I'm gonna go into the Shortcuts app and then we'll create a new shortcut. And this is based on when an NFC is tag is scanned and we will scan the tag. I have it hidden nicely here behind the Blink camera sticker, but it easily scans right through the glass. And we'll call this garage back door. Um, I think we're only gonna use this for unlock because it's pretty easy to hit the uh, button on the top and we'll run immediately. We don't need to be notified when it runs and we'll create a blank automation. And the first thing I like to do is the vibrate. So we'll vibrate the device and then we'll go into home assistant and we want to fire an event and this one we're going to call garage back door unlock. I'm going to copy this so I don't have to remember it <laughs> and can't mistype it or anything. And then we'll say done here. And then we'll jump over to Home Assistant. And we will go into the automations. We'll create an automation. Create a new automation. Went manual event. Go up here. And then we're going to going to unlock and choose our device which is garage back door lock and we'll save call this nfc from shortcuts unlocks back garage door and we'll save it and then we're going to test it. So I just locked it here. And then we'll tap. And it's scanned. And you can hear it immediately unlock. So we're good to go. And here were the trash cans, which is probably not where you're expecting us to end. But the last NFC tag automation I'm going to show you is utilizing the trash cans. So again, we're going to start in the Apple shortcuts, we're going to create an automation, and when the NFC tag is scanned, we'll run immediately, and we'll scan it, have it right underneath the O of the trash only on ours, and we're going to say trash can, it's probably a fine name for this. <laughs> this particular one, we're going to create a blank automation, and as always, I like the vibrate We'll vibrate the device and then we will go in here and do home assistant and fire an event and then we're going to call this trash we're going to call it trash done so i finished that so we'll jump over to home assistant 
I'm actually going to jump in and make a helper. And for this helper, we're going to do a toggle of trash. Or if there's a little trash can icon, oh, look at that trash can icon. Perfect. So we created the helper for the trash. So actually, let me go in. I'll just turn that on for illustration purposes. Because what we're going to do is we're going to automate it where it turns on every time it's the day before trash day. And then as we take the trash out, we can tap it and it'll know that we took the trash out. And if the trash isn't taken out by a certain time, we can start getting alerts depending on who's home. And then by a certain time, you know, we can all get alerts to make sure that somebody is taking the trash out or, or it's, you know, known about. And we can also turn it off from our phones if we're on vacation or something and we don't need to worry about it. So that'll be pretty easy. And this one was the manual event. And this was trash done. I did not copy this one, but pretty easy to remember. And we'll have to call a service in this instance. And this is an input Boolean turn off. Oops. I want to choose an entity and that'll be trash. And then we'll turn off the trash by touching it and we'll call this trash complete. So let's go back to the helper so I can show you what that is actually doing in the background. And we have the trash on and I'll be able to tap top of the O and it vibrated and turn the trash off just like that. So that'll be a quick and easy way for us to mark that we have the trash done and make sure that we can get alerts if the trash is not complete when it should be. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss future videos as we look at more automations and different ways of doing things and making your life easier.